hey, it's good to see you guys again. What's up? Cole Morris here, aka More Dirt. It's been a little bit of a lull. This is actually July. Today's July 3rd. I'm going to start a big clearing job. Um, got 19 stumps and trees to remove. Yeah, I've been busy, busy, busy. Haven't had time to film. I got so many little odd jobs going on and in and out, quick back and forth deals. Um, it's just been hammering. I haven't had time to film a lot of stuff. And some of the small stuff I've been on the gun so much time wise that I haven't filming takes a while. It takes an extra, you know, 30, 40, 50 minutes sometimes to get stuff situated, edit, interview, call the camera. And uh, yeah, so on this job, we got the Paul 60 out here. I'm going to meet the homeowner now. And um, yeah, this should be a good day. Sorry for the lack of footage lately. The month, the whole entire month of June was just an absolute mayhem, mayhem month and then we had this massive storm come through where i live and uh, actually put my local city under a state of emergency and um, i had three or four days of just emergency cleanup that we were doing uh, if you guys want to check that out go to bloomington indiana just look at this storm that hit i think they called it the um, i can't remember what they called it but some wild the 80 mile hour straight line winds we had 55,000 people without power it was nuts but we're going to pull in here um, we're gonna get the 60 warmed up, talk to our customer, do a walk around to make sure we're still on the same page. And uh, as always, if you like dirt bikes, you like dozers, like, subscribe. God first, family second, work third. Just like that. All right, let's get going. All right, just roll up to the job site here. We got a pole barn pad that's going in here. And my job on this uh, particular project is I'm just clearing the stumps out. So we have 17 stumps that's already been dug out by the guy that put the septic in. I'm loading those out and roll offs, getting those out of here. And they have a whole bunch of stumps. And I went through and painted a whole bunch of stumps through here, uh, back through there, all back where the yard's basically gonna go. I'm pulling all those up, plugging them out. And we're gonna cut all the organic matter off here, <clears throat> stage it up elsewhere. So the guys can come dig the footers for the walls because they're pouring a big wall over here and they're gonna backfill it and build a pole barn here. And then eventually we're gonna put a house here. So. Today, that's just excavator day. We're just excavating out stumps and digging. Days like today are things that like a dirt guy dreams about because all I'm doing is flipping switches, sticks, and um, loving life. And it's been a long time since I've just got to relax and dig. <laughs> and that might sound crazy to people that, what do you mean you relax and dig? Whenever you're an excavator and you're just doing what you enjoy to do, it's therapeutic to me. And um, I, I need some therapy time because my life's been hectic the last six weeks. So I am extremely thankful for this job right now because I got to sit in my office and go through the motions and make you guys a video I hope you enjoy. So, all right, I'm going to strap the old GoPro in the excavator after I grease it and then uh, we'll get to stumping. Stumping! Let's go! multi-part operation, I believe. Stumps are pretty big. Guess the guy tore them out at 314. We'll see how the old 60 likes to deal with them.
so much dirt on these things. There we go. Clean the dirt off of them, make them a little bit lighter. I guess he said he was power washing the rest of them. He's power washing all the dirt off. Dumps that are all in there, I reckon, because I'm not sure some of these dumps will be able to pick up on the old 60. But I'll be honest, when I first bid this job, I wasn't planning on using the 60. I really was a, oh, I didn't plan on slowing these dumps up. He just had to put this on me a second ago. So, and then the world, we can make it work. We can make her work.
don't want to stage them in the way of each other either because I want to be able to put one by a time in the um, in the dumpster. Pluck this stump out right here. It's an old dead one that wasn't actually originally taken out. I'll take this stump out to go gain access down there to get those stumps out. And the reason I have to do this is because there's the septic tank there and the new septic fields up there, and I can't, there's no access this way. So my only way for access is to build me a new road. And I just pulled all those stumps out from down here. So one by one, I got five five left to do plus these two have seven to do so we're going to dig these out and um and pull those and then get to go on the other side they're all dumb will be here this afternoon sometime give you guys a better view of this I had a cut in this hillside you can see how the gray goes down like this I cut in the hillside built me a path pulled these two stumps to grab those stumps oh I didn't realize my GoPro was still on oops <clears throat> I told you I was gonna go get grab lunch which I am here in a little bit but I want to give you a different view of my phone there's all these stumps there's 17 so far I've put out of here now now 19 19 stumps out up there and um, now we wait for the roll-off guy to get here so I can load those. In the meantime, though, we got all of these to pull up. That, that one, this one. We have another one here. Those two. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 more to deal with. 20 more. 
So that's gonna put me at uh, 39 total stumps that I have been moving out. You can kind of get a reference here. I'm gonna stand by them. These are Mondos. These are Mondo size stumps. And if like you see that ball right there, these things are monsters. Little six, he's getting a good workout today. So absolutely love it. Love it. Let's go. one okay and that showed up way early it's not even barely 11 o'clock i said i wouldn't need to one or two and they're already pulling in thank you jesus and get these all staged up and loaded and uh make her happen i mean look at this big old thing hey, look at my hand for reference that's a hog boys that's a hog daddy all right get him unloaded and we'll uh start load them up <clears throat> all right just got an eating lunch at my local chipotle Absolutely love Chipotle, although it's not as healthy for you as what they said or I thought, you know, shocker, the American diet's a bunch of crap, but anyhow, dropping up lunch, gonna head back, it looks like there's a wicked storm coming, um, it's crossing the Illinois state line right now, and uh, it shows in the radar, it's Pete or not, but I'm gonna tell you right now, looking at the clouds, I don't know if I believe the old radar, so... We're gonna head back out there. I got 130R completely full um, in, in between when I told you I was gonna cut off to back on. Supposedly they're bringing me another 30, so hopefully there's an MP30 sitting there and we can stack some of them stumps in there and do, uh, be as productive as we can because if the rain is coming, <clears throat> that looks like on the radar, if it shows up, it's gonna wash me out quick. So I'm gonna do what I can be productive. Tomorrow is the 4th of July. Um, if it's not raining tomorrow morning, I gotta run to a small job in the morning, clean up some storm debris and then go in the lake with my family. So, yeah, let's get back out there, fire up the old 60. The AC in the 60s a little weak though, boys. I'm gonna tell you right now, the 60 AC is like, um, it's like a 1999 box fan that's still plugged in in your mom and dad's house. It's still just, whoa, 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 whoa. That's what it's doing right now. So, I can feel the air, <clears throat> that air will feel good. You know what I mean? It's just like hot air, so. I don't know if the evap needs clean, I'm not sure. Uh, we gotta jump into it and look at it, but I'm gonna survive, make the best of it today, and um, we'll cross that bridge uh, at a later time, so. All right, let's hammer. Miserable, the AC's doing nothing for me in here, it's so hot. Oh, shit. Blue line, mother. <clears throat> Which one popped? She plum poop, plum. she plum blew right off there, blew right off the fitting right there. You can see she got hot and pop. So I guess she didn't like the old root pressure. These hoses are actually pretty new, so I'm shocked that it blew off and they got stumps. That's one stump dug and I got a million more to go. Actually, I have 18 more to go right here. So it popped on the, technically the third stump I was digging. So let's pull it off and try to beat this weather coming in. Trying to, tomorrow's 4th of July, so I'm hoping I'm gonna get a hose made and at least put on um, tonight. Well, like you saw there, I popped the line on the 60, go figure. <laughs> so, just got back from lunch, got some the, the roll off loaded back up, started digging on my first big stump and then popped the line. So, e haul, I mean, it blew it off the, um, I mean, it blew it off the fitting, so I gotta be a little bit easier, I guess, in the old 60. I gotta take, care, take it easy. So, it is what it is. It's part of running a machine. Stuff pops, stuff blows. I mean, it just, it is what it is. It's just nasty and messy, and I don't like it. So, I'm going to the hydro shop, trying to get one made. Then I have an estimate. I got to be in in an hour 30, so that 
I plugged everything up on both ends of the mini, so everything's capped off. Um, and I'll probably start back first thing in the morning, or um, I don't know what day I'll start back. We'll see. But that's gonna do it for today. I'll pick back up when I'm back on the job site.